Hello, hello. It is me, Jay Renard, and it is, yet again, Unboxing Day. So, first things first. This particular unboxing has nothing to do with leather work. This is just a thing that I got that I'm happy to have finally gotten. I live in Japan right now, and this particular package got sent all the way to Europe on accident before coming back to me, or rather before coming to me. So I'm very glad to get it. So glad in fact that I decided to waste you all's time with an unboxing with nothing to do with leather work. So for anybody who doesn't want to watch that, here's your warning. Turn away now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> but for everybody else who is interested, here we go. Now I'm not much of a sneakerhead. I'm not really a huge fan of Jordans. Please don't hurt me in the comments for that one. But I do like straightforward, simple shoes. And Jordans are quite creative, but they also do have a kind of a lot going on with almost every pair, every type. So the majority of shoes that I own are something pretty straightforward, like something like these, if they aren't specifically for some sort of sport or maybe boots or something like that. So here go these right here that I bought. Now, full disclosure, these are pretty simple, but they also got a little bit more going on in a simple package, if you can believe that. So without further ado, here we go. Let's do this. And there we have it. So what I liked about these the most was the unique juxtaposition of the dark bronze with the medium brown with the tan, but also with a plaid. So with this shoe, with all the multitude of colors going on, this could go with a lot, a lot of different outfits because of the different aspects of it, different things that could pop with the, with the outfit. I saw these and I thought, I could wear these with just about anything. Jeans, just fine. Blue jeans or khakis, something like that. Some sorts of, uh, some other sorts of pants, maybe some, uh, like I said, some khakis or some dockers, maybe some chinos, depending on the style that I'm, uh, th that I got them in. Um, could even go with a uh, certain nicer types of pants, especially because of the versatility in this, the, uh, the colors and whatnot that are all there. So with these shoes opens up a great deal more types of outfits, but let's go ahead and take these out the box. So first things first, unlike the Air Force One high tops, which aren't much higher than this, the, the strap here is sewn in. The other pair of Air Force Ones that I have that are uh, that I got via the Nike ID, the strap goes through this back portion here. And it's completely removable. I've actually removed it mostly because it's an extra item that I don't need. But this one here, I could just 
leave it loose and only have it secured here so it's easy to take on and excuse me easier to take off and put on but I do like this here they had uh, some smooth leather to go against the portion here to re uh, reduce friction these are little things right here that I saw that uh, just show some forethought into the design Uh, classic Air Force One bottom flat sole which uh, is great for uh, for just standard walking standing about do a whole lot of that when you're riding the train or, or whatnot getting about uh, here in in Japan trains are very efficient so you're gonna be waiting at the station not very long hitting the trains various things like that so uh, it's a good casual shoe, but like I said, because of the style and the colors, a lot of options available. So, real quick unboxing, quick review. Now, as much as I do like these laces, I am gonna swap them out with these. These are the Expand laces, hashtag not sponsored by Expand or by Nike. And what I like about these also, as well as the fact that they color match pretty well, Is that for those of you who don't know about the X-Band lace, lacing system, once they are laced up, these laces aren't regular uh, types of shoelaces, even though they look like they were standard flat laces, they stretch. So once you've got the shoe laced up in the manner that you like it, with the uh, uh, to the tightness that you prefer on your foot you just set the anchor that comes with these uh comes with each set of laces that you buy so that they don't back out from the end point and then whenever you slide your foot in and out it'll expand to allow for your foot to go in and slide in and then they'll secure right back down so as to fit comfortably around your foot same level of tightness, same comfortability every single time. I bought about, I think, six pair of these. Some white, some black, and a couple tan. I'd intend on using the tan on some boots that I have, but they're a couple of shades off for what I needed so far as the color. So the other ones, these ones just kind of sat in my house. But then when I saw these, I thought, oh, I could probably get these and then uh, eventually swap out the laces and then boom, good to go. I have a you know, better use for the expand tan laces that I have. So once I get those good to go, ready to excuse me, uh, installed and ready to go, I'll post another video after I've uh, worn these in with a quick review. All right. Thank you very much for letting me take up your time with a sneaker unboxing as opposed to a leatherwork unboxing. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please set them down in the comment section below. Please keep it all nice and PG because YouTube is looking. And thanks a lot. I'll catch you on the flip side. I'm Jerry Renard, and I'm out. Peace.